Welcome everyone, Farmer Cup here. This is going to be part five of my season's tutorial series. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so in this video, we're going to talk about vehicles and maintenance, workers and snow as far as it goes with seasons. And mostly the snow part is going to be talking about how to clear it um, which is kind of more related to vehicles in my opinion. So um, this one may not be as long as my other tutorials. Again, I don't know yet as I'm just recording it now, but uh, we're just going to go over a few things. So um, normally when you go into repair a vehicle in normal gameplay, um, you just you go into the store, you have a repair trigger like this guy right here. You'll come in and you'll be able to just hit uh, repair down there and you'll be good to go. So Seasons changes it a little bit. There's a couple different aspects to it. So there is actually, let's just go into that screen. That'll be helpful to stay here. Now, again, you still have the sell, you still have the back, and you still have the customize option, and you still have the repair option, but what is this repaint option? So that is a whole different aspect of season. So normally in normal gameplay, it's actually, you can see it a little bit. I apologize. I had this vehicle go work on a field for an hour. Um, I, <laughs> that was all the time I had for setup for this, uh, but and it has a little bit of visible wear on the cultivator, but nothing on the vehicle, but this is a brand new version. So here, let's look at just these guys you can tell a little bit so here brand new the paint looks good on it right there's nothing wrong with the paint now if we come over to this cultivator you can see some of that chipping start to happen some of the paint starting to go away so that that normally happens in regular gameplay however in regular gameplay the ch and they get a lot worse obviously as you put more hours on the vehicles in regular gameplay that repair bar as you see down there in the bottom right hand corner the green repair bar um all of those those issues will be fixed if you simply hit the repair button everything all the visuals will be fixed and the actual maintenance condition of the vehicle will be fixed now that's not the case in seasons in seasons this will only repair the condition so for example some equipment will run slower or be less efficient if it has a lower working condition um so in that case that's what that's going to fix if you hit repair it's going to fix stuff up we're not going to do that yet but um that's what that's what it's able to do for you now if you hit repaint um, you can hit repaint now that's a lot more money and the reason being you're actually repainting the whole vehicle that's going to fix all the cosmetic details the cosmetic details don't affect how the vehicle runs so you don't have to do it unless you really want to it's just there to kind of add a couple or just an extra step of realism in there for you and again you can always go in the customization screen and you can customize anything you need to as far as that goes but um yeah, so anyhow, that it just adds a whole nother aspect to it. Um, in general, maintenance needs to be done every 20 hours, and the longer you wait, the more costly it is. So that's a, a system in seasons that's going to make it worse and worse the longer you wait to do maintenance. So definitely get it done as soon as you possibly can. Um, so if we go over here, and actually let's get uh, the cultivators where you can kind of see it on it. So let's get this guy out of here and get the cultivator. Just I don't think I have workshop tab or installed, but... So... I come in here, cultivator, condition right there. So if we go over here, take a look at it. All those little defects that we saw earlier are still on those plow blades. Now if I come over here and I repair it for $4, come back over here. Those defects, as you can see, are still there. It didn't repair those, whereas in normal mode it would. Now if I go back into here and I hit repaint, which is gonna cost, and it does vary depending on complexity and size of the equipment, so it's not just a flat rate. So it's only 1300 bucks. So if I hit yes and come out here, You'll notice that now those defects are gone. It repainted it and it's all fixed up and it looks just like the new version over here now. So it's it's definitely an interesting aspect to it that I'm really glad they added in. I think it adds a, a good, just a little bit of realism to it. I think it's it makes it a lot better. So I think that's a fantastic aspect of that. Now, the last thing I want to mention as far as vehicles go, if I go into the store and this is on all vehicles, so just be aware that all vehicles this works on, at least as far as I can tell, I've done it on vehicles, equipment, all sorts of things. But if I go in here and let's say I want to buy this tractor, it's $59,000. I'm not going to change anything on it. I'm just going to hit buy it. Now, normally if you did that in normal gameplay, if you go into the store, into the garage menu, it's going to be worth less, but it's still worth the same price here. Now, this is an aspect of, and it doesn't matter. You can sell it out of the garage, or if you bring it to this point here, it's going to still be 59,000. This is an aspect of seasons. So seasons, if you buy a piece of equipment and then it ends up not working for what you need it for, you can return it for full price up to a certain degree. It's not automatic because that obviously wouldn't be too realistic, but um, 
it, it has a limit to it. So you have to do it the same day. So the moment we pass midnight, this kind of reverts back into the pricing that it would be if, if as if you'd bought it not in seasons. Now also too, if you end up working with this and using this tractor today, if you use this tractor for more than an hour, then you will no longer get it sold back for the same price. So you have less than an hour. So at 0.9 hours, if you're not gonna use it, I know it's a little cheaty if you wanna just kind of use equipment that way, but I think it's a good feature if you actually play realistically in your mind to say, hey, we bought this, maybe you buy, I'm not sure, maybe you buy um, some sort of uh, cultivator or something that didn't doesn't work out for you. You buy, that's or you buy a plow. Let's say you buy this thinking you have what you need to pull it and you buy that. And then um, we paid 59,000 for it, so. You buy this and then you end up realize, oh, I have this tractor and that tractor couldn't pull it enough. So you're like, I just need to sell it. I only used it for a, a few hours or, or not a few hours, sorry. I only used it for like 0.2 hours. You just go into the garage and you can sell it back for full price. So we just go ahead and sell it back. And you can see the cultivators over here. You can see a good example. The cultivator I used plowing that field or cultivating that field, I should say. And then here's the one I didn't use doing that. So just be aware of that. It does change it a little bit. So. Um, it's definitely something to note there. So it's it's a kind of a cool aspect of it as well Now another note I want to make is in regards to workers. So we're going to talk briefly about workers Workers and seasons are a little bit different not they do the same jobs They're all similar in that aspect. What changes is how much they charge So if you hire workers between 6 or between 6 a.m. And 6 p.m. In game time, of course um they will charge the normal vanilla rate, the normal game rate. They'll charge just what you're used to having your workers charge, which is, you know, what it is. But if you hire them outside of those hours, so past 6 p.m. or before 6 a.m., they're going to charge you 50% uh, more. So they're going to basically get paid time and a half. So just kind of be smart about how you're using your workers. You may not want to have your workers going all night. So just something to think about. Um, it changes it a little bit. Now, I don't have a whole lot else to add about that. Um, but just just note that so be a little bit smart about how you're using your workers So they're not charging you an arm and a leg to get jobs done for you or maybe do them yourself after those hours So uh, just something to note with that so that's how vehicles work repairing repainting um, And as far as cleaning goes actually I should note that so if I have dirt on it like there's a little bit on here um, You just spray it off with normal you go into the store and just like a normal base game You just go ahead and buy yourself a pressure washer and you can spray it off just normally that part doesn't change As far as getting the dirt off so which makes sense so um, Just note that um, now the next section we're going to go into is we're going to talk about snow clearing, but uh, I'm going to get us some snow actually on the map here, um, and then I'll bring you guys back in. All right, we do have some snow on here. So, and just because it does snow or that snow animation is up there, um, doesn't mean you're necessarily going to have snow stick. So just be aware of that. It all depends on the geo as far as how fast it sticks or how much it goes or goes down. Um, but uh, certain areas snow won't stick to, so you can see the repair trigger. There's no snow here. And actually on this map, the roads don't have any snow on them. Some maps, the roads will get snow on them. So just be aware of that. But this one, it does not appear as though they do. This is one layer of snow. So this is one layer. Note that there can be two. If you don't clear anything or do anything, a second layer can uh, show up. Now there's a couple things that are interesting about snow. So first off, if you have like a trailer like this that doesn't have a cover on it that's parked outside, some snow will fall in it and you have to empty it out before you can end up using it again. So I pull up here hook up to this trailer you'll see that snow is a fill type it has 10 liters in it so I can oh I don't have access to the land but you can dump it out before you have to use it again or before you can use it again so just know that now if you park it under a shed um, it will alleviate that issue now out here um, let's just kind of talk about sheds for a second here so if a map is prepared for snow which we kind of talked about that uh, in a previous part of this or in the buildings are prepared for snow you can see under the cover Snow is not going to happen under here. So rotting of bales and stuff like that. This is protected by from rain and snow and from stuff like that. So it's essentially safe from a uh, rotting if it's under there. there's different bales and fill types and stuff like that. So just be aware of that. Now we're going to take a look at uh, snow clearing. Now there are no standard in-game options to clear snow. You have to download mods. This is just the Howard snow pack. There's a few on the mod hub um, that are available. There's all sorts of different ways to do it. But this is just a kind of a basic one. It has a salt spreader in it and it has a snow plow. Now you don't need both. You could use one or the other or both. Uh, so salt, which is on the back, we'll talk about that first, actually. Now you can buy salt pallets. I don't actually think, and I will just double check that with you guys in here. I don't think they show up in here unless you, yeah, you have to download a mod, I believe, in order to get salt. Or no, yeah, rolled salt. Okay, so it does come in. If you have seasons turned on, road salt, big bags will come in. There's other mods to do it. It is a little bit expensive, and it does go through it fairly quickly. But if I... Uh, Actually, we might have to go out to land we own. So we'll just go out to our field. You can do this on wherever. I mean, obviously you may not be going out and plowing your fields, um, but you can do this. We'll go out here 
and just kind of demonstrate this a little bit. So we own this field right over here. Um, actually, I wonder if it'll work on this. We'll buy this field too, just so we can demonstrate a little bit easier as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so salt spreader, I have it selected. If I turn on the help menu, first off, I can do adjustments with the plow on the front, but I'm not gonna worry about that. So if I hit B, it's gonna turn it on. And as you can see, for whatever it's with, it's, it's slowly going through the salt down there and it's, it's melting one layer of snow off of the ground there. So um, I can do that. And if you see here too as well, my vehicle is not behaving the same on the snow. So it's going to take it more effort to get places. It's going to actually have some traction loss and stuff like that. Um, and it's going to slide around a bit more. So you are going to notice some differences with it. Now, if you just want to play around with snow and get used to that, there's a mod called Just Snow for at least PC players where you can install that and it'll put snow on any map regardless of seasons or not. So there you go. That's how you use the salt. Now the plow, if I go to the front, select the front tool, and I lower it down, you can see there's an animation. It depends on the, the map maker. And I can push the snow to the side, and you can see it is piling up because it is a fill type, so I'm just kind of moving it out of the way. And if I go too fast, some of it, I might not get all of it, so I missed some back there. But it just kind of depends. So I can push some up into a pile. And uh, yeah, if I go like this now and I wanted to get the other side, go forward i can start pushing the other side out of the way there i can push it straight if i want or wherever i want to push it so yeah i mean it's 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 not obviously perfect but it's pretty cool so you can move snow around that way um and snow plows can move multiple layers of snow at once you just might have to go a little bit slower to get it but um i definitely think it's good to have a, a snow plow um on your farm when you first or even even on your first year going through because always it's hard to kind of do anything with the snow on there uh, if you play with the geo where snow is possible and i don't have a geo installed right now i'm using just the base game seasons mod so snow is possible and i mean it'll show up as precipitation in here you can see it's supposed to snow 80 percent chance of precipitation so anyhow that is everything i have for you guys today i know this one wasn't as long as the other ones but we're going to get into it i right now have 12 total parts of the series scheduled the next one we're going to go into is forestry then we're going to have one on each aspect of animals um, in game and then i'm gonna have i just have a final one reserved for anything i forgot at the very end so anyhow guys if you enjoyed this video drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys for coming and watching